Hello and good day. Uh, I'm recording a video on uh, Bubbler and Spotwalla for Android devices on a lot of the motorcycle uh, long distance uh, forums and groups and Facebook pages. I'm uh, uh, a part of this question comes up a lot and I did not see any YouTube videos showing how to do this. Uh, and it's not the most intuitive thing in the world. So we'll see if we can uh, get through this. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm sure there's people better at it than me and could uh, do a better job, but uh, I'm doing it. We'll see how this works out. So uh, this is assuming you've logged into Spotwalla before or you've created your account. So I created an account. Um, I don't have any devices in this uh, right now. We're gonna go add one. So the first thing we're gonna do is hit device manager and we're gonna go new device. In that drop down choice, we're gonna go Bubbler GPS. I'm gonna make the description uh, just of what type of phone it is. And I'm just gonna put in uh, that it's an S20. Um, I don't have any other devices, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this my default device and I'm gonna hit update. So now that that shows up in your device list, we need to go to your phone. Now I have a handy phone uh, mirroring app here so i've got my phone in front of me and we're going to click on the play store here and uh you're just going to type in bubbler gps in the search up there uh you can do the pro or gonna, or the light i'm going to choose light and once that comes up go ahead and click install it's going to download that app and install it on your phone so let's go ahead and open that and you're going to want to go ahead and let it um, allow each one of these things so that the, the uh, app works as it's supposed to. I'm going to allow it all the time. And you would want it to access the photos, media, and files. And what that is is so that as you're traveling, doing your fuel stops, uh, things you want to see, you can take a picture with Bubbler and it'll show that uh, picture on your map for others. Record audio, I think that just comes along with it for whatever reason. So it's gonna come up like this. And in your settings is where you're gonna to wanna to go first, upper left-hand corner. You can see that uh, you have internet. That means I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi. So that's green, the settings is not. That means you're not logged in and the device isn't registered to your uh, Spotwallow account. So we're gonna go ahead and do a Spotwallow login. And I'm gonna move this off screen while I do that and pause it here. And coming back from a pause, um, once you log in to you this using the same Spotwalla email uh, and login you logged into the web page with, it will tell you that it was successfully logged in and then just to hit the back button. So I have already done that. And now you can see that my Spotwalla login is green. Now the Spotwalla device is not. So we're gonna click on that. And because you already set it up in the Spotwalla page, your Bubbler app should now show that as being an option. So we're gonna click on that. And it's saying, please wait while we validate this device. And voila, it went green. So we're just gonna hit the back button on our phone and we're good to go. So we see green in the Spotwalla login and device. That's what we wanna see. So uh, I'm gonna go back again to the main page. And if you wanna just start Logging, you can hit update now, and that will start Bubbler logging your GPS location. So you basically could hit that button, uh, close the app. It'll still be running in the background up here, and you could go driving, and it'll log and record all your data points. And uh, if you have internet connection, it will upload all of those points to the Spotwalla server and they will just sit there. It'll do that all the time. No matter how you have Spotwalla configured, uh, it will do that. So, But before that, we're gonna go into settings here. Actually, I'm gonna stop it, take that back. I'm gonna go into settings again, up here in the upper left, and I see that's still red, so we've got some things to go through. So we're gonna go to update frequency, and enter the minimum time and minute between GPS position. The minimum is 15, so we're gonna leave that alone. The paid version is, I think you can go down to yeah, you might be able to change that in the paid version. I forget what that is. Um, maximum time in seconds. We're just going to leave that alone. That's fine. You can play with these as you wish. I'm not worried about them at night right now. Communications. If you only want it to communicate over Wi-Fi so that you don't use your 4G data, you can do that. And Bubbler will log all your uh, data points 
your lat long positions as you ride in the background. And then when you get to your hotel at night, it will upload all those once you've connected to Wi-Fi. Something I recommend if you're going on a trip and want to make sure that it's recording, launch at startup because if you restart your phone, um, you want the bubbler to start up and kick off automatically. So we're going to go back. Camera, that's just personal options. If you want to have each picture emailed out as you ride, I don't use this. I don't need that uh, to do that. And uh, what else? Again, portrait orientation, how you want your messages laid out. So not sure why settings is still um, not green. Let me check on that. So while I did there, I'm not sure why my settings uh, was not green. Um, I just exited the bubbler and reopened it and bang, it was green. So uh, maybe a glitch, maybe something that happens all the time. Uh, I'm not sure. So we're going to go ahead and just leave that. So the bubbler side of the phone is basically done. So if you have bubbler running, you don't have to do anything. All your coordinates, whether you have a trip set up in Spotwalla or not, are going to be logged and pushed up to the server. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to go back home in Spotwalla and we're going to set up a trip. So we're going to go to Trip Manager and we're going to go New. So choose your device. There's only one in here. You can chip name. I'm just going to name it. We'll just name it Test Trip. Trip description. I'm not going to put anything in there. So to make the uh, to make your things show up on a map, you can set your start date and an end date to anything you want. Uh, you can set it for the future if you want. Uh, it, it makes no difference. The data points are going to get to Spot Walla no matter what you set this to, and they will and they'll just be there. So you wouldn't even have to have done anything here in the trips part of Spot Walla. You could just start your bubbler up go driving. It'll record all that stuff uh, and put it up to the spot wall of server and it'll be there. So you could go in technically a week later to the spot wall of web page, create a trip, set your calendar date back to the day that you rode and collected the data or, you know, created those points when you rode, open basically a window of time to back when you did it and make it go and your map will just be there. It'll work. That's how Spot Walla works. Or you can set it for a future date, and then when you go ride on that future date with Bubbler running, it'll show up and work on the map just fine. I know there's some confusion with that, but uh, your data points, as long as you have Bubbler running on your phone, they're always going to get recorded up to Spot Walla. So, so I think I probably went a little uh, more in depth than I wanted to for this video. I really just wanted to set the phone up. Uh, so let's leave it at that. We can come back uh, and add some more uh, more information in a separate video of uh, maybe some trip manager things uh, and whatnot. So um, to clarify, once you have the device, uh, your message count, that's how many data points or messages that you've created with your bubbler. Uh, we don't have any here, but once you get going, yeah, you'll start to see this number rise up and we'll go from there. So I uh, hope this video is found to be helpful. Sorry if I went too fast, and uh, if needed, we'll create another one. Thanks a lot.